pretty hard to pinch down, down the normal player. Yeah, the player uh, normal player, like player just normal player. <laughs> flat head. Can I don't mind. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Ah, okay. this one bagus. This one is a flat head. Okay, this is really flat. I can flatten everything down. <laughs> See, I know I used to have like very like this, but not flattened, right? It was just lots of lead. Yeah. And what I always did was I put super glue on it and left the body overnight. Yeah, that's another and it way. Really, you know, it's rock yeah. hard. It doesn't spin. You can put epoxy onto it, things like that. Uh, you oh, rock this was yeah. pre-epoxy, pre like I just used mm, super glue. And the other weird thing I always used to do, drawing, whenever I wound the lead on, to see the tailpiece, I always brought that back out over. Because then whenever you wound yourself through it, it didn't disappear in. True. Yeah. Good, good advice on that. But this medical tape's blowing my mind. <laughs> Because I'm a very lazy guy. He asked me to do like like the, the traditional way. You gotta yeah, you use a yeah. hell of a lot of silk. Yeah, you gotta use a lot of uh, super glue. You gotta let it dry like, overnight. You know things like that. Uh, I, I'm a bit a little bit lazy with that. That's why I just like to shape it. I want to shape it fast. Time you can bring oh, the cameras, okay. but camera only focus here. Don't focus me. No, I pakai ini nampak macam ape dah. Still, still, still the best artist we we know lah. Mm, no lah. <laughs> ini artis tipu punya artis. Tipu lah. Tapi tapi my fly depends on your competition. At least yours. I don't get a chance to be so much like you. So I'm only talking about this one. Ah, ini penting. Ah, ini terjalin satu orang tu. This. Hey, nampak. Instead of using this one. I use this one. You see what is the result, huh? You will be amazed with this result. Because of the... It's also a Chanel, right? It's, it's a Chanel. It's something like Chanel. They call a straggle string. Yeah. So actually you mix with the... the Put a lot of dubbing, you need a lot of dubbing because uh, later you need to brush the dubbing out yeah. to make it very heavy. Ah, hi, Yeah, the batteries are old, maybe. Compatible. No, they're compatible or aftermarket ones. Oh. Well, they're half the price, so they're half as good. <laughs> half a price, so don't complain. <laughs> you only get half all the time. <laughs> half the benefits. Well, I don't mind because the thing is, when you're posting stuff onto YouTube or whatever, you only want a short video. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> the best one I've done is the best one I've done was actually the shortest one. Oh, no internet. No Wi Fi. No Wi Fi. No Wi Fi here. Yeah. Wrap this thing up, what? General rule is after five years. Yeah. Okay. It's the general rule. Yeah. You really start seeing that the, the thing looks very buggy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so nice. 
groove sudah nampak, nampak groove dah uh, you yeah. tak payah brush yeah. tak payah apa pun <laughs> dia sudah bagi it's really bagi look just now the other one you got to put in yeah. you got to brush that mm. out this one you don't even have to do that brushing you're really getting the bagi look it's amazing material this one i want to say yeah i have to say i'm enjoying using it yeah. the only thing i found though is that the fish can the fish can cut it yeah it's not as tough as the chanel's yeah mm. but it is it is amazing materials they come with this um one good thing about this uv materials uh, fish see uv lights yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah fish see uv no yeah <laughs> that's why it, now you know you see a lot of markets uh, uh, in the markets there grow many material a lot of material comes with uv because oh. fish actually see uv now what luminous one boleh you beli to luminous me paint they have luminous paint you can paint it up okay so now let's see just now we were doing with the peasant tails fibers no profession at all Cheating. yeah yeah <laughs> Cheating. we make the flies we want the flies yeah. be taken by the fish. but saying that now i have tied a, a deer hair yeah. bug yeah just yeah. A, a round pellet okay and i've caught fish on that because that's still very exciting because you're actually seeing the fish come up and take yes. it okay looks like you can okay looks like you have really adapted to our fishing welcome to malaysia <laughs> Yeah, you're fishing. You're but catching more fish than us. The, the best one. Which is not fair. The best one is the fishing with the crab patterns and mm -hmm. throwing it to a grouper and just seeing the grouper come up and just inhale it. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yes. Great feeling. Great feeling, huh? Yeah. yeah. Because you see it, take it. Yes. Yeah. Great feeling. Okay. Uh, this one is with the rubber legs. A little bit more movement that I want. So of course, I will keep two for the antenna, two for the legs. Okay. Actually, the the silly leg, the rubber leg is more for the movement, the vibration. The yeah, vibration is some water. Yeah. So when you figure it and they when they move slowly, this thing like that. Yeah. Yeah. Because of the rubber legs. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Actually, he caught one, but but this is. Tapen sir. Itu bukan tapen lagi. Malaysia punya tapen lah, semua tipu punya sekarang Getting smaller and smaller and smaller sometimes You just wonder what fish is that sometimes What happened to our fish? Eh, but Sabah side, I saw some pictures, they are tapen sangat big Still got around the Kuala Kula and then the Terong there Got still the big big size tapen But the place is so remote too remote lah. Yeah, and then actually we got the saltwater crops there. Haha. <laughs> 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 better so, don't. Yeah. We don't dare to challenge the saltwater crops. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think better stay safe lah. Yeah. So we go fishing pond. <laughs> saltwater crop is no play play. <laughs> no play play. <laughs> that one no play play. That one. You never know when they come and grab you. Yeah. The pike, the pike is. Well, there's salt water crocodiles here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can get. It. You know that uh, when my childhood time, could you just need to weigh it properly. Uh, because of the hook. Yeah, maybe. Because of the hook. But you'll be surprised. You might be swimming the other way also. The right way. When they they goes down, uh, because of what the hook, the, the hook, the water resistance makes it, it will uh, so called flip the other side. You could put in some weight under it. It's bloody heavy, I'm telling you that. Uh, no, no, there's no way that you're gonna fish with it. No way that you're gonna fish with the. Uh, it's like a stone. It's like a stone. That's good. It works, but that means that you, you mustn't be using a overhand roll cast. Yeah. Mm. We cannot mm -hmm. use that. No, right. 
Yeah. Say a few. This is I see this all the time on my, my river. Okay. You see guys throwing the, the, the heavy nymph upstream. Yeah. Right, and they're watching it down. They do upstream ends like this. Yeah. That, that kills it. Kills it dead. Yeah. If you if you mend the line like that, or even throw it out and do a reach cast. Yeah. As it's coming down, as soon as you do another mend, it lifts the fly. Yeah. So you do it the other way. You keep your rod up, and all you do is flick the tip of the rod. Yeah. And that puts like a wee roll cast on top of your strike indicator. You can fish a tiny, tiny, tiny gold head, but it'll never lift it up in the water. Yeah. I see the point. Tiny, tiny, tiny gold head. You don't get fish tiny, tiny, tiny gold head here. Our, our bit hits is... No, but it's the same principle. Yeah, if, you do, yeah. if you do an upstream end, you lift the fly. Yeah. That's just mechanics. But if you hold the rod up, and if you see it getting tight, if you yeah. just do it like a mini roll cast, it dumps the line out on top of it, and the fly doesn't come up. Yes. You don't need half the weight. Yeah. I see the point. Actually, sometimes I do that. Yeah. There's really in, 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 it's, it's very popular now in the last what, four years, but everybody's switching over to this check nymphing. Yeah. So, you know, we always used to use seven foot, six foot rods. Now there's guys going in the river with like a 12 foot rod, three yeah. weight. And all they're doing is just holding it out. Yeah. So it's easier. Good. I don't yeah. like it. <laughs> I like to explore the river and walk up, 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 or yeah. down, 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 keep casting look for the right deep pool. Maybe the, the fishing over there is a bit different from here. Your fish doesn't run away. You see trouts. You can, so they, you can sit there and wait for a whole day, you don't see them come back. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's why we, we always move around. We move from one place to another.